The new Asheville Outlets is getting great reviews from visitors on its first day. And tonight there's news of additional stores coming. News 13's Kimberly King is live at the Outlets. And Kim, how many more stores are we talking about? Tammy, at least five, and many people that I spoke to, shoppers, say they know the names of these stores. One major one, an anchor for the Outlets Mall, is going up behind me. You can see a crew member up there underneath the ceiling as they continue to work with timelines set for this summer and fall to open. With an in-house DJ inside Tommy Hilfiger, it's a party this grand opening day for retailers and shoppers. And word from the outlet's general manager is more names are coming. We've got Talbot's, that of course is one of the favorite ladies' stores. We've got Bath and Body. It will be up near the food court and is a favorite for 16-year-old Sedaria Davis on the right, whose parents allowed her to take a day off school to come shop. Well, I'm really looking forward to the Bath and Body. I really love their scents and lotions and stuff. One huge, obvious section still under construction is a 55,000 square foot anchor store. The walls are down, wires are hanging. This space, targeted to open in October, Field and Stream is the name. The outdoor store on the marquee coming soon. And there are more. We've got Lucky's. <laughs> And uh, we've got West Elm. We even found a shopper familiar with it. West Elm, I'm really, really excited about. I came from Raleigh and um, before I moved to Asheville, and I'd always ordered West Elm online. It's affiliated with Pottery Barn, so Elizabeth, who shopped The Gap today, says she'll definitely be back. The mall getting good reviews from shoppers we talked with, even telling general manager Sharon Morgan. I see a lot of people that I know from the old mall when I was here, and they're looking at me going, Sharon, we cannot believe how they've changed this. Okay, back out here live. We're making friends with the construction crew out here. They're even in good spirits. Of course, they can't do any shopping, but we are getting a lot of good feedback from the shoppers in the area, and there are still um, a few empty spaces, but the uh, manager here says that they do think that these will, those will definitely be rented or leased out in the months to come. Reporting live off Brevard Road, Kimberly King, News 13.